Good morning. This is Alan Rufford. I am making this Facebook Live post to let everybody know that um, I received a email from the superintendent uh, of the schools uh, last night, and they said that I'm not allowed to be on school property unless it's official business. Uh, here, here in just a moment, I'll be going in to request records of my daughter and um, they said they'll either have me arrested or ex escorted off school property I see the school resource officer is watching me uh, they're probably gonna come out here in just a second ask what I'm doing on school property I have gotten several com uh, comments and stuff like that saying that I should be quiet I shouldn't complain I should accept this that's why this problem has been allowed to persist. That's why this problem is, has been commented so many times. This discrimination, these abuses. If the school resource officer does come out, I will. I, I just got a call from the school. I just declined it. Um, I'm going to stand across the street and I'm going to yell today. I'm going to yell that my daughter does not need to shut up. My daughter does not suck. Her disabilities don't make her suck. Small minded thinking like that is what sucks. I will be going to the district today and I will be adding a new discrimination case against the, uh, against the superintendent for trying to silence me. They told me I have to wait off school property. I don't care if I look a fool. I really don't. I thought about this last night. I don't care if I look like a fool. I don't care if it's just me out here standing in the cold because that's what they said I had to do if I wanted to get my daughter's voice heard. I don't care because without me, they're, they're staring at me right now um, through the window uh, of the conference room next to the office. Um, if anybody has a megaphone or something that can project my voice a little bit further, I'd appreciate it because I hope I don't go to jail tonight or today. But I'm going to try to find somewhere to park my truck across the street. People seem to forget that we have our civil rights for a reason to prevent things like this happening to not be silenced I have people saying that uh, I'm using this I don't know you know as um, as a way to uh, bully and harass the school as a way to bully and harass the school Many of you may think that this was something that I just cooked up or that this was my first action. This was not. My first action was August 8th. August 8th, I made my first formal complaint with no action or limited action, limited response. And then almost every week after, a new circumstance happened that I had to complain on. Not just little things. My daughter being kicked out of practices. Things like that. I love my daughter. I love my daughter more than anything. I love being a parent. I love being a parent to my daughter. I 
I don't know how to do this situation appropriately. I've never been in this before. The school told me yesterday that I was legally allowed to come and formally protest silently in the school and uh, sit in the office, stand guard to monitor, make sure that my daughter was not gonna continue getting harassed. So that when my daughter could walk by and see me and feel safe. Evan Baker and Valerie Baker pulled their kid out of school. Called and complained, saying it's unsafe. Sure, there was probably a, a few others, I don't know. But them I know for sure. She demanded that I give her an answer to why I was doing this. I offered an answer in the form of a 7,200 word statement and timeline of events. She said she wasn't interested because, well, I can only assume that she wasn't interested because the only truth that she wants to hear is that the coach is right. Nothing happened, or she doesn't care what really happened. These kind of bullying tactics by parents and intimidation tactics by parents are taught to these children. And they wonder why these children come to school and bully and harass other children into, into committing suicide, into doing things like the Parkland shooter. These kids feel helpless with nowhere to turn because administration is silencing them. They have these bullying programs, but when you report it, nothing happens. It is sick and it is time to make them stand accountable. This is West Claremont. Middle school, yeah. I'm going to demand clarification today. They said I'm not allowed on school property unless it's official school business. So when I go in, I'm going to request uh, under I think it is FERPA or something my, to review my daughter's school records, her educational records and whatever they have on her. Because that's official. And I have a right to request that. Again, if anybody has something to help me project my voice, I would love to use it to stand across the street and protest across the street. I will stand in the cold. I will stand alone. I know many of you have offered support, so I guess technically I do not stand alone. But I will physically stand alone in the cold. My, my voice was silenced for several months. I had to sit back and watch them abuse my daughter Mentally, emotionally, I can't no more. I can't. I can't allow that. As a parent, I can't allow that. I will not accept that. I refuse to accept that. And how dare you, any of you, to tell me I should accept that. She's more important. Cheer was important to us, to her, because that was her dream. That was, that's what she loves to do. She loves to dance around and dab on people. She dances around and dabs at church. She dances around and dabs at school. She does her little cheers. She's been wanting to cheer since third grade. In fifth grade, they said when she gets to, gets to the middle school, she's going to get a chance to cheer. 
Sorry, it's getting blurry. It's cold out here and my voice is fogging us up where my breath is. I'll dare them to try to extinguish the light that is my daughter. How dare them attempt to silence her and to silence me and think that's okay. How dare them tell her she's, a, she's on the team. How dare them let the coaches come to them and say that they didn't want to work with a disabled little girl because they never had they had never before. And they weren't comfortable with it. How dare them? This was something that was going to be a goal that should have been set in her IEP meeting in sixth grade, but was left out because they thought it was, it was something that needed to be dealt with in seventh grade. They didn't know at that time that or according to them, they didn't know at that time that it was chosen at seventh, uh, in sixth grade for the seventh grade. But it was discussed. Lauren Myers knows that my daughter wanted to cheer and that she asked from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, when can she try out? If my daughter would have been allowed to try out back in last May, or April or whenever they had it and she didn't make the team I would have I would have been sad a little bit but I would have explained to her why she didn't make the team excuse me why she didn't make the team and would have looked for something else for her to get involved in that's what would have happened if this would have played out the right way back last uh, last sixth grade, last year. But instead, when I approached them about it, and I told them about their oversight and what had happened, they welcomed her with open arms on the team. Laura Meyer. Sorry, again. Good morning, Jody. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Paula. So Amanda Gayar Marty Gayar Marty. So what had happened, uh, and they apologized to this, and uh, but last year, somehow, my daughter's contact information, my phone number, email address, even her. Uh, emergency contact disappeared from the school records after I found out that she wasn't on cheer they and they told me they said well it was in the y'all call I said well I didn't get it they went back and looked to make sure that I they had my information and it wasn't there I had to update my information at that time I had to update that with I believe it was Lori Crow's um, secretary or the front office I don't remember, but I was there every single week picking my daughter up for medical appointments. At any time, they could have said, hey, tryouts are on Friday or Wednesday or whenever they were. They could have told me. They could have said, tryouts are next week. Tryouts are tomorrow. They never did. Despite the fact that we had asked so many times, when is tryouts? Natalie literally asked all year. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that I'll end up in jail over this because I am speaking out. I have no idea what's wrong with these people. I thought that they would embrace my daughter and celebrate her because that was the expectation that even Mike Kirk had. He said, hey, your daughter walks by me every day in the hall and has the biggest and most precious smile. Your daughter shines so bright. Every morning, she dabs on me. He said every morning she dabs on me. 
He said, yes, I know your daughter very well. He said, we would love to have her a part of this team. The irony in all of this, the irony in all of this is at that meeting on, on May 15th, when Mike Kirk uh, uh, officially let her join the team, he had such glowing recommendations of Coach Laura and Coach Brittany. I think he also had included Coach Amanda from that switched over to the high school. He, he told me how professionally these, these women were. He told me how wonderful they were and how, how, how well they knew their thing and how welcoming and embracing that they were gonna be of my daughter. This is after he told me he spoke to him. He told me that this was very positive and that this was an opportunity for everybody involved to show some school spirit. No, uh, Paula, uh, Officially, last night, they sent me an email from the, uh, or the superintendent of the schools sent me an email saying that I could not be on school property unless uh, it was for official school business. So when they come out and tell me that I have to leave the property, I'm going to go in and I'm going to request uh, under the FERPA Act, I believe, to, um, to review my daughter's school records and I'm going to take some time to review those records. So... But Amanda, I get it. I, I totally get it. I totally understand. Had they let my daughter try out, she may have may not have made the team. But because of their oversight, as they called it, and because of a clerical error that my daughter's information wasn't in the system, uh, and everybody that goes to the school knows that they send you out information before school starts. That if your daughter or that your if your child's information is not up to date, they can't attend until you come and update it. Or update it online. But the superintendent said if I'm not here for official school business, that I would either be escorted off the property or the police would be called on me. Now, the fear I have is that they're gonna to try to use this to uh, say that I'm trying to bully and intimidate the school, which is hysterical, but that they're gonna have me arrested. And I don't, but I don't care. I think I have some people that, you know, some, I got some friends, I got some family, people that are willing to take Natalie into their homes if, um, if I do go to jail, so. This should have never been allowed to happen. This was an opportunity for a school to embrace a special needs kid, lift her up like so many other schools have. So many other schools have been in this situation and they have surrounded the, these, these special needs children and they have showered them with love and acceptance and inclusion and they've celebrated these children. Why not, West Claremont? This morning... This morning... Sorry, that was an airplane going by. This morning, on the way to school, I brought Natalie a little late because, uh, again, she fought me. She didn't want to come to school. She keeps showing me that people are deleting her on social media. And that's fine. Because those weren't obviously her friends anyways. They're draining the swamp. But on the way to school this morning, I'm in my truck. And my radio doesn't work very well right now because the antenna... Uh, some antenna adapter piece is loose so my radio cuts on and off I have to go get it fixed but for a brief moment maybe five to seven seconds the radio worked and Katy Perry's firework came on and I was like wow I prayed on this yesterday 
I literally pray, prayed about this yesterday. I prayed that, I prayed to know what to do in this situation because I don't know. I did not know then. I prayed to know. And all last night, I even emailed and spoke with some of my friends and said, hey, I'm, I haven't gotten a response. I don't know what to do. Heavenly Father has not given me a response yet. And I'm in my truck this morning. I pump my gas. I get in. And for a few brief seconds, my radio works and Firework comes on by Katy Perry. And it cuts right back off. I'm like, wow, if that isn't an answer, then what the heck is, right? West Claremont has been able to silence people for so long. From my understanding, they did it as Glen Esty and Amelia schools and their middle schools and their high schools. From my understanding, they have been doing it since West Claremont merged. This is a pattern of misconduct by this district. A pattern of misconduct aimed at the most vulnerable children and the most vulnerable families. They have anti-bullying uh, you know, sessions with these kids and programs. But what good does that do when it's the staff, the principal, the athletic director, the coaches that are doing it? What good is having a program, an anti-bullying program, when they're facilitating the bullying? Several times people have said, my child's been bullied. And the school does nothing. The kids continue to get bullied. They, they offer these programs to ask children to come forward. And then when they do, they silence them. And they don't protect them. I call out West Claremont Middle School. I call out West Claremont School District. I challenge them to step up and reinforce the anti-bullying policies. My daughter has a game today. Her harasser and the person that has discriminated against her will be there. My daughter will not be protected from that person. If this was a male in the reverse role, I would be suspended or they would be suspended pending the outcome of an investigation to protect the child. That's not happening here. And, not, and that hasn't happened at any, at any point in this. Coach Laura has been allowed to participate even though I've made several complaints against her. I am not a pervert because I support my daughter and I support her goals and her dreams. I am not a pervert because I go and I watch my daughter at her games. And I, and I, I, I sat in support of her team. I sat in support of West Claremont. Thank you, Jessica. Hello, Katie. Hey, Shannon. I am deeply, deeply disappointed in this district. They had an opportunity to do something that would teach these children inclusion. This was an opportunity for them to include. Now, I know everybody's been saying, I've seen her practice or I've seen her participate. How can you say she's not on the team? Because Co uh, Coach Laura, and I guess Coach Brittany Love went to the school to Lori Crow and the athletic director 
uh, Tiffany Sawyer and said, hey, we don't want her on our team. We didn't pick her, so we don't want her on our team. She's disabled. We don't want her on our team. We are not familiar with children like that. We are not comfortable with it. You don't get to say that. That is discrimination. You are using my daughter's dis disability to not include her. They said, it's for her own safety. Well, if it's not safe for her, then it's not safe for any kid. Ban the program. Now, I really don't advocate for banning cheer because I think the cheer program was good. I think these girls were doing something wonderful. I don't think every single girl was mean to my daughter. It's coming to light that some of those girls were calling my daughter disgusting, maybe. And saying that her drool made them slip on mats. Sweat makes you sweat, uh, makes you split too. Pretty sure that those workouts made you guys sweat. And I bet some of that sweat got on those mats. What's up, Wood fam? Exactly, Tanya. I literally told them in my meeting with them on. I want to say July 16th, there was a meeting uh, because the coaches called a meeting saying that they didn't want Natalie on the team. So before my daughter could even participate in one practice, I had to meet with Mike Kirk and uh, I had to meet with Mike Kirk, Tiffany Sawyer, and Lori Crow. They said the coaches came to them and told them they didn't want her on the team. They weren't comfortable with it. They officially, what's up, Sarah? They officially kicked her off at that time in, in July. And I told them, I said, you can't do this. I have several hundred dollars invested in this. I bought all the cheer gear. Lori Crow says, well, I didn't know that you'd already purchased all of that. I said, I will sue you for discrimination. She said, well, before we go there, you know, let's talk about what we can do. He, she said, all these parents, such as yourself, uh, Amanda, of girls that got cut are going to be upset that we let her join the team after their girls were cut. And I understood where they were coming from with that. But the reality was, is she didn't get the opportunity to try out. I have not been contacted by any lawyers yet. I haven't really even looked much. I think I left a message for lawyer or whatever. But um, but the reality was, she was in. She was accepted onto the team officially. She did the final forms for basketball and football cheer because she was accepted onto the team for those. Sorry about that. For some reason, I'm getting low connection. So, at this meeting in July, when they kicked my daughter off the team, they backpedaled after I said I will go get a lawyer and sue them for discrimination because their leading reason for my daughter not being on the team was she's disabled and they weren't comfortable with her. You're not allowed to list that as the reason for my daughter to not be on the team. I, I'm just, I'm so broken over this. I have spent so much money in having shirts made and gear made to support my daughter in this. Shirts that show West Claremont pride and I kind of want to burn it all. But she, she loves it so I won't because I consider my daughter. They may not, but I do. My daughter is valid, so I won't. I don't want. My, I don't want to teach my daughter hate or, or anything like that. Not like some of the parents uh, obviously have been. They pulled their kids out of school because I came to protect my daughter. Amazing. Amazing. But. The thing is this, it, 
If you have a question that I have not answered, write it in the comments, message me directly, and then I'll make a post about it later tonight. If you are struggling with understanding how it got this way, I will give you that answer in a post tonight. Um, so most of this was done verbally. They didn't, this was, I was, I was still naive about all of this in the very beginning. It wasn't towards the end that I realized that I had to record them because it wasn't towards the end that they started saying that I was a liar and forgetting that they had said certain things. I've called them out in meetings. You are a liar. This is what you told me last time. This is what you said. Tiffany Sawyer said there was three individual tryouts for football, basketball, and competition. That was a lie. There was one tryout, and, you, and the parents had to either select one or both. And I believe initially, in order to qualify for competition, all you had to do was check one or check them both. You had to participate in basketball and football. But that was later changed to doing one or the other. Cheerleaders were yelled at when they tried to help my daughter in practice. I beg that cheerleader's parent to come forward and admit to the... Sorry about that, another connection interruption. I uh, just noticed that the school resource officer is still checking me out. Wonder how long it's going to take for them to get out here and uh, tell me to go. I will officially state why I'm here. Wow, man, what's up with this connection sprint? I don't know if any of you guys can hear me or not. 